trusting God in this thing. It really is. And it said, if you are a thief, quit stealing. Oh, wow. This is some serious stuff this morning. <laughs> Instead, use your hands for good, hard work. So he's telling you, stop stealing. And I hope it's, I'm putting it, he's putting it on out there. Because we got so many young people now, that all they want to do is sit down and go in folks' houses and steal. Mm. We said, God said, do hard work. That means get up off your butt if it takes going to McDonald's. All right. If it causes a dig a ditch, mm -hmm. you get up off your butt and you go out there and you dig a ditch. At least you can pay for it. See, we live in a generation where people want everything instant. You want to just blast it in the microwave and it's already there. But you got to work hard. Your hands got to war with what you do. And if you, and I raised my kids where they had to work, so when they got out of my house, they were glad to get out of my house. But they got up, they washed dishes. I'm serious. They didn't have them dishes washed by a certain time. They were up by three or four o'clock in the morning. You know, they thought they was at a sort in, in the army. They used to tell me all the time, Mama, you had like you were a soldier in the army. You missed your calling. But I was trying to raise them to be right. productive citizens Amen. and not to walk around and try to take because the world don't owe you nothing. Amen. You know, we got so many kids are killing, we are we're killing each other. And we got to get to a place where we begin to love one another. Amen. Because that's what it's all about, loving one another. And so he's telling us that we got to work, use our hands to work, and then give generous, generously to others in need. Then we talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. We got to give. You know, we sit around and we got food in our house, and somebody come up and knock on your door and say they hungry. Well, I ain't got enough food to feed them. It's just enough. I don't say it myself. It ain't enough to feed nobody but me and my children. But then, you know, not knowing that if we take time out and give to somebody else, God gonna bless us with more. Amen. And so this is what that that's what He's telling us in this hour that we gotta give, and cause God was a God of giving, and so that's what we gotta do the same thing. And he said, don't use foul or abusive language. I said that earlier. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be encouragement to those who bear them. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. This is the things that you all need to be writing so that y'all either go back and really read the word so that y'all can get this into your spirit and down in your soul. Mm -hmm. Then he said, do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the mm -hmm. way you live. Oh, See, because wow. every time we go out there and we go back into that world and we don't been saved and been cast out before him and we go back out in that world, we bring, we put Christ back on the cross. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who well, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want to be set free and stay free. Yes, Lord. And so he's telling us also that remember he had identified you with his own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. <coughs> he said get rid of all bitterness, rage, mm -hmm. anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, yes. forgiving one another, uh -huh. just as God through Christ has forgiven you. So we got to do what Christ do. We got to emulate God in this season. And that's important. Yes, Lord. And my next step, I'm going to bring you to number two. In order to live a life worthy of your calling, you must renew your minds. Gotcha. Renew means a knock a, a knock a kind of new, to make new. That's a Greek word. It means Romans 12, 2. Say, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and prove what God will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. And if you will turn with me to Romans, the 12th chapter. And I'm going to read that to you. He said, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove what God's will and His, and His good will, pleasing and perfect will. For by the grace given in me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought to. Come on. But rather think of yourself with sober judgment and according with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of you has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so is Christ. We are as many formed in one body, and each member belongs to all the others. 
we have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesied, let him use it in portion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. Yes. See, these are some serious rules that God is applying to our life. And these are exactly what we have to live by. And if we live short of this, we ain't living right. My God. We ain't living right. Then he goes on to say, love must be sincere. Mm. It must, he say, hate what is evil, cling to what is good, mm -hmm. be devoted to one another in brotherly love, honor one another above yourselves, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, mm -hmm. serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, mm. patient in affliction, mm -hmm. faithful in prayer, wow. share with God's people who are in need, mm -hmm. practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. My God. Bless and do not curse. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. He said rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. My God. So you see your brother and sister down you and they crying. You're supposed to cry with them. Come on. If there is death in the family, you're supposed to uh, 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 mourn with them. If they're happy and rejoicing, you're supposed to rejoice with them. So we got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we got man. a lot of living to do because this is what God is saying is how we got to live. Yeah, yeah. Far short of that, we ain't doing nothing. My God. He said, live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud. Because some of us get so proud, we think we're better than <coughs> we should be. We, we, got, we driving this car. Car don't make you. Come House on, don't make now. you. Clothes don't make you. I had to learn that. Because I used to walk around all dressed up, but I was all tore up on the inside. Mm -hmm. And God had to show me that what you got on the outside ain't no good. It's the inside. He said, first clean your inside. Jesus. 